guys, welcome to welcome back to my my channel. Um, so I'm just gonna dive straight into this one. So as a 27, not 27, I'm 25. There comes a time when you're like, you know what? It is time. Be a grown up about everything you buy. I'm sure all of you know the whole three word style situation going on all over TikTok. If not, please let me introduce you to this wonderful concept that has transformed the way I look at things. My three words are <laughs> chic, feminine, and coastal. Those are kind of the three words that best describe what I'm aiming at. So I will be trying on every single dress that I have in my closet currently, and you and I will be deciding if we're keeping it, if it matches the three words, or if it's time to say bye bye bye. We're gonna start off with this one, because I'm not letting her go, I'm not. And I thought it would be nice to start with a nice one, okay? This dress is the Ritz dress by uh, Selkie. It's beautiful, I'm keeping it. If you're wanting to buy the Ritz dress, it's pricey. It's an investment piece. It's also extremely long. I'm five foot nine and a half, five foot ten, and it's it's long on me. The next dress is this little cutie Halston Heritage tulip skirt dress. It's very cute, except for it doesn't zip. If I do get it all the way up, then this video would end here. This guy has got to go. It was cute while I was able to fit in it, but I've had a child since then. This Valeria Lipinska dress, it's, theoretically, it's a good dress. I've worn it once. Because, you know those dresses that you only will pull from your closet when you're like, hmm, I feel morning skinny. Um, and then the rest of the day you like regret, <laughs> regret it. Uh, this is one of those dresses just because it is very tight, very tight and it's not forgiving. So whenever I wear it, I just feel super self-conscious. So this one, I think it's just gotta go. The only thing that's like holding me Bikers, I'm filming. The only thing that's kind of stopping me on this one is I'm like, ooh, Christmas photos. So I'm like holding onto a dress just because it's gonna look cute one time a year for like a brief photo session is just not worth it. So this one is a no-go. It's cute, like if you have super like curvy, this would be really cute. I'm shaped like a banana and like carry most of my weight here and I don't love that to be highlighted. No, neither is it coastal, neither is it it's feminine. Neither is it coastal, what, what's my other word? Uh, chic, chic was my other word? I guess it is. No. We're saying goodbye to it. I don't wear it. I wanted to try this dress back to back with the red one because it's by the same brand, same designer. Like, do you just see how much more flattering this is on me? You know, A-line. Hits you right at your natural waistline, which is the smallest part of my body. See? It's so cute. And it could be worn like this. With thick corduroy material, so it's super forgiving. It is a like forest green color, which is just a tad bit difficult to style. You can really only wear like new shoes. Um, but other than that, it's a good dress, and I am going to this dress I've been hoarding for years and the single reason well two reasons one reason is because it's long on me and when you're tall it's very rare to find things that are long on you and when you do you like they hold a special place in your heart this is one of those but let me show you this is what it looks like like she's very cute but she is a deep V and she's an open back. So you can only wear like those little pasties, which is fine. And it looks really cute with like a sweater over it. That's how I wore it in the winter time. Uh, but I don't know, like she's very pretty. I don't know, now I'm like looking at the thing because when I put it on, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a no. And now I come out here and I'm like, just kidding. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because with a sweater, I'll be right back. Hold on. With like a cropped sweater, 
It's cute, you know? This is why. This this is why we're doing this. Uh -huh. This is one of those where I'm like cottage core got the best of me. This is a no for me. And here's why. See how it's an umpire waist? So my natural waist is right here. This is an umpire waist. It's hitting me top and it just goes down. It doesn't do anything. It makes me look like a barrel. Another thing that I don't love about this dress is like there is no support here but you can't really wear anything with support because of how like wide the straps are and with me if the dress is even a tiny bit complicated for kind of bra you to wear I just don't ever wear it so I think this one is a not and I think the biggest thing for me is the length on me at least it looks like the dress shrunk which possibly could be the case that's why I originally loved it is because of the print I don't know if you can see it's like baby blue with uh, cream roses this was a collab between Lux Love Shack Fancy and Target it's not my favorite I think the sleeves are just a little too big for me for my taste and just the overall dress is a little bit big for me it just doesn't I feel like it just doesn't do anything for me and I'm a little bit over this style I just don't think it matches me personally anymore so we're saying goodbye to this one but she's cute in case you have her she's cute like don't feel bad about having her I just think for myself I I just don't feel it in my heart anymore. There is this brand called Dish, and I'm Dish is obsessed with Dish. I'm very, I've tried to make that a pun or like a rhyme or, I tried to make that sound cool. I apologize. <laughs> this is a backless kind of like apron-y dress. I love this dress. I just love wearing it like this. I love the material, it's lined, it has pockets. Also, I wore this dress in the wintertime with like a wool turtleneck. It looked insane with like um, knee high boots because there's like a little slit. This is my jam. Like this is what I'm trying to go for. The fabric is like luxe. It's thick. It's lined. Like I can wear anything with this. Nothing's going to be see through. Hurrah for her. This is one of those dresses that I look at every time and I'm like, wow. That is honestly like a work of art. I mean, look at the sleeves. It's like a ruffle detailing here. Very flattering. You can wear anything you want with it because closed back, closed front. So every year um, for my birthday, my husband gets me a needle and thread dress until we forgot that we were doing that. Um, we only did that twice, two years in a row, and then we just forgot. My Instagram already had the pleasure of viewing, of viewing this dress. This was a momentary, momentary lapse in judgment on my part when I bought this dress. I really thought that I was just gonna look like a baddie, like hot. I do not. And at first, at first I was like, you just need like heck of curves to pull this dress off. But then after just be it being dragged <laughs> on my reel, I realized that it's not me, <laughs> it's the dress. Um, taking a look at the construction of the dress so the boning starts here and it continues all the way up to here and there's no cup so I'm confused <laughs> to what this was supposed to do maybe it's supposed to like flatten you but the fabric is stretchy and nothing but the boning solidifies a corset right it's just a zipper in the bag I just thought I would put it on again for you guys, for um, the pleasure of your eyeballs. Up next, we have a shirt dress, which hypothetically should be like a sta staple in your closet. But because this one has accordion pleats in the front, it's very difficult to style unless you just put a belt on it. And that's honestly kind of the only way you can wear it. It's also quite see-through. It's Zara. <laughs> so you have to wear a slip underneath unless you're wearing like all nude. Uh, but this is it. Also, the length of it is not my favorite. It hits me like right at the like the bottom part of my knee. Usually, you would want something to hit you either above your joint or like a little bit like right on it, just because then it will elongate your legs. 
that goes like this. It just makes my calves look thick, thick calves. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. Um, also, like the sleeves on it, they're they're not like sh supposed to be. That that looks short. My favorite, all time favorite dresses I own. I got it a couple months ago when I was in New York. It's so cute. It's very flattering. You could wear it with like a sneaker or you could dress it up with a boot or like a heel. Super comfortable because it's like a wrap. That's how it works. It's very flattering and very forgiving for like a linen tight dress. I don't know. I just think it looks like, it looks so casual. It gives me like Rachel, Rachel Green vibes from friends in like the best way. We have this Reformation number. This was my this is my very first Reformation clothing piece. I bought it for our um, pregnancy announcement last year. I love it. I love the print. I love the shape. I love that it's a high neck, very wearable. Uh, the only thing that's kind of a little bit out there is the slit is super high, super high. But other than that, pretty wearable dress. I just wish it wasn't as tight on me and it wasn't until my husband washed it. So this is the very famous Oasis dress by Free People. I've had this dress for probably almost four years. So price per wear, I've gotten a pretty good amount of use out of it. It's also amazing material and quality because it literally looks like I just bought it. Um, I think I'm a little bit over this style. I think you guys have seen it quite a bit in the dresses I tried on before. It's also a bit big on me. I want a size medium, which is usually my size, but with this dress, you want to size down. It's an amazing dress when you're pregnant because of the smocking here. It kind of grows with you here and here. So I wore this to death when I was pregnant. Right now, I don't know. I am like looking at it and I'm like, it's cute but I just don't seem to be pulling it anymore, and I don't know. The one bad thing I could say about it is it has bells. So you're like a cat. This is gonna be the last dress I'll be trying on just because I feel like this video is getting a little too long. But this dress I got when I was also pregnant. Great dress for pregnancy, but it's just way too big. Like I can't walk around without it falling off. So obviously, dude, the bikers, they just they just love to they just love it here. This one is actually handmade and I bought it off Etsy. I have a robe that is the same material. Um overall, great little store, absolutely sized down. I think this is also a size medium. It's very big. Um the one thing I would say about it is it's very long, very big, and I probably wouldn't get this color in. I would get something neutral because then you can like style it or something. Um, but it was a really comfy dress for pregnancy. You know, when you're like nine months pregnant and you just are irritated by like clothing touching you, this was perfect. But I think, I think that time has passed for me and I could just let go of this dress. She's a cutie. Um, the thing that I've learned by looking at my closet is bodycon is just not for me. Um, I'm more of an A-line looser fit person, like towards the bottom especially. Neutrals, love my neutrals. Um, I don't love a pattern. I right now, I think I'm kind of starting to narrow back down to just like the basics, just like those simple colors that can be worn with everything rather than like big bold prints. Uh, just because then you could wear them more often and you don't get sick of them. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you stuck around to the very last bit, Wow, um, thank you. This is going to be a series that I'll probably be doing continuously. We can progress in my style hand in hand together. Um, I'm actually getting my wisdom teeth out tomorrow. So, editing Anissa. How are you doing? You doing good? We'll see how I edit this in time for Saturday. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate you and bye bye. Have a great weekend.